This week on the bench, I'm going to tie you up the green Stillwater nymph. Now this fly really shines when fish are keying on mayfly nymphs, damselfly nymphs, and shrimp. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. We'll tie the fly on a Mustad size 14 C53S hook. Some ADOT olive thread to tie with, some olive marabou for the tail, some barred olive mallard for the body, some burnt orange for the hackle, fine copper wire for the ribbing, and olive mallard for the shell back. To start the fly off, I've taken my thread and tied it onto the hook, right to the hook bend. Then I've taken a small clump of my ma or my uh, marabou, my olive marabou, about the length of the hook, and tied in for the tail. And again, keep the tail fairly short, just the length of the hook. You don't want it too long. Next, we're going to tie in the shell back. Now, I've taken a lot of my mallard, and I like the fluffy stuff. I don't want the real fine, real stiff parts of the mallard. I want the very end of the feather down here where it's all the fluffy stuff. So what I'm going to do is make it about the length of the tail, because when you pull this over for the shell back, you want some feathers kind of pulling forward for the legs later. So measure it up, want the length of the tail, and then tie it in. And this will be our, our back later on. Here's where we have some options. I'm ready to tie in my wire to rib up the body. And what I've done is created a body by putting in my mallard and my marabou when I built the tail. So I've actually got a nice thin body on the fly and I'm going to leave it that way. A second option is you can tie in some more mallard and actually wrap a body forward. But I'm going to leave that the way it is. So I've got some, some ribbing here. And we're just going to tie in our fine copper wire. Once the rib's tied in, I've taken a small hackle and again, the hackles you want are just about the length of the, the gap from your hook. So make sure it's not too, not too big. Tie it, in, tie it in the back of the hook. And then wrap it forward to form about three or four hackle turns up the fly. Now to make sure the hackle stays in place and form our ribbing, we're going to take our wire that we had off the back. And I'm going to wrap it through that hackle in the reverse direction that I went with the hackle. And make sure as you pull this wire forward that you don't trap too many hackle fibers in there. Just keep working that wire through the hackle and finish at the eyelet of the hook. Once you've wrapped the wire forward to secure the hackle, we're going to take our scissors and we're going to trim off the top part of the hackle. So keep the sides and the bottom, but we want to trim down the top just in preparation of putting our back cover on. So trim off all the hackle. Then we're going to take our, our mallard we had sitting off the back and pull it forward right to the front of the hook. Wrap the thread around and you'll notice you have just a little bit left over that we're going to pull back along the top and tie over. This will form kind of a top collar and legs on the fly. The last step to the fly to finish it off is I'm just going to whip finish the head and then put on a little bit of head cement just to hold the, the thread in place. So there it is, the finished green stillwater nymph. As everybody's probably experienced in their fishing lifetime, when fish are keying on shrimp, they can be very finicky and you usually have to go small. This is where this fly really comes into its own. To watch all our latest Sport Fishing on the Fly episodes and to order Sport Fishing on the Fly merchandise, head to www.sfotf.ca and if you'd like to book an adventure like this one shown, head to onthefflyadventures.ca and book yourself the trip of a lifetime.